welcome to my channel all things with l in this video i'll be showing you how i make this delicious meat pastas in nigeria they're called meat pies they're greater snacks or small meals so let's get started you will need one onion two tablespoons of vegetable oil or sunflower oil three carrots three potatoes three tablespoons of plain flour 500 grams of minced meat 250 ml of water one teaspoon of curry powder a quarter teaspoon or a pinch of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of thyme, two chicken stock cubes, and salt to taste. The first thing you do is chop the onion into tiny pieces. Now that the onions are ready, I put the plate and set aside. Next, wash the carrot and peel. Cut the carrot into small cubes, about 1 cm in size. This is the ideal size that I'm talking about. Well, you'll find that some are smaller, but that's okay. Here is the carrots all chopped and ready to cook. Next, wash the potatoes and peel. Then cut the potatoes into small cubes about 1 cm in size. Once all the potatoes are chopped, set aside. Heat 2 tablespoons of oil in a deep frying pan. Add the chopped onions and cook on a low heat for 5 minutes or until nicely softened. Make sure you're frying on a low heat so that the onions do not burn. We want the onions to look something like this. Next, add the beef mince and fry for about 5 minutes, breaking it up with a spoon as it browns. Add in a bit of water to allow the minced meat to cook without burning, then cover and leave to cook for 5 minutes. Now it's time to add in the potatoes and carrots. Stir the potatoes and carrots into the mince. Next add the curry powder and cayenne pepper. Time. 
wonder why I'm mixing the time with water? Well, it's just my precautionary measure to get rid of sand. Add two stock cubes. Now add in some water enough to cook the potatoes and the carrots. Stir the mixture well, then cover and bring to the boil. At this point, reduce the heat and leave to simmer for 5 minutes or until the potatoes and the carrots are tender but still firm. If the mixture is dry, you can add some water. Check that the potatoes and the carrots are now soft. If so, then add 3 tablespoons of plain flour in 250 ml of water. Mix in the flour well to prevent any lumps. Adding flour thickens the sauce and makes the filling nice and moist. Then add the flour mixture to the mince. Now stir well then cover and leave to simmer for a couple of minutes so that the flour mixture can cook. Simmer with salt and pepper if needed. This is what the meat filling should look like and the consistency that we want. Now that's the pie filling done. Set aside and leave to cool completely as we turn our attention to making the pastry. Here I have lightly greased the foil paper and placed it on an oven tray. This is where I arrange all the pastas that would go into the oven. Add into a large bowl 1 kg of flour, 1 teaspoon of salt and 2 level teaspoons of baking powder. Stir the mixture with a spoon to evenly distribute the salt and baking powder. Now add in the margarine in smaller lumps. And rub in with your fingertips as quickly as possible to prevent the dough becoming warm. Next, add 125 ml of cold water to the mixture. Don't be tempted to add more water. Go ahead and mix to a firm dough. Now knead the dough briefly until it forms a slightly tacky ball. How I know that my pastry dough is ready is when it comes cleanly away from the side of the bowl. Now this is how your dough should look. Wrap the dough in cling film and leave to rest in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. Now it's time to assemble the pies. First, preheat the oven to 175 degrees Celsius. Next, take the dough out of the fridge to cut a small amount. Roll this piece out evenly using a rolling pin on a lightly floured work surface to the thickness of a one pound coin. Now cut out a circle shape with a round side bowl. Place a spoonful of the filling onto the pastry, spreading it on one half of the disc and leaving the other half clear. Then brush the edges of the pastry with the beaten egg. Now carefully fold the pastry over, join the edges and press with your fingers to seal. To ensure that the filling is held inside during baking, crimp the edges with a thick. Here 
here is what it looks like. Now placing the pie on my prepared baking tray. I'm going to make more of the pies now following the steps that I have just described. Using a pastry brush, brush the top of the pies with a beaten egg. And prick holes into the pies using a fork or a cocktail stick to allow steam to escape during baking. Now bake on the middle shelf of the oven for about 30 minutes or until the pasties are golden brown. Once you're happy with the look of the pastas, you can take them out of the oven and leave to rest for 5-10 minutes. There you have it, nice delicious meat pastas, also known as Nigerian meat pies. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Like us and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching, bye!